Hello students, welcome to your first lecture on defining your audience, goals, and purpose. As you'll see, I like to use resources such as videos, articles, and blog posts from different creators as well as my own content. Not everyone learns the same, so sometimes having another perspective can be helpful. Also, you'll notice that this video is based directly off of the information you have in Canvas. This is because many people learn differently. Some like to see what is happening, um, hence this video. Some like to hear, hence me talking through this video. Some people do better actually reading. And like myself, I like a combination of everything. So you'll see as we move through that um, you can do what you want to really style these lectures on how you learn best. All right, so why social media? Since you're taking this class, you probably already realize the power social media has in people's lives. The difference between social media and other forms of ad advertising is that it's not just advertising. Social media offers a way to create connections, which in turn can open up opportunities such as jobs and sales. So now we're gonna check out this infographic below, credited to socialmediatoday.com. All right, so the importance of personal branding on social media in 2020. Social media is an essential tool for professionals to develop and grow their personal brands. In 2020, thanks namely to social media and easy to use content creation tools, we are able to shape and mold our network's perception of us into whatever we want it to be. So the key benefits of personal branding, employability, on a platform like LinkedIn that is swarming with potential candidates, your personal brand is what sets you apart and highlights your value as an employee. Company visibility. Your personal brand on social media allows you to bring some attention to your company and the products or services that you offer. Thought leadership. Having a strong personal brand can cement your status as a thought leader, as your network will come to you for industry insights and knowledge on your company's field. Social selling. Increased visibility on social media and displayed through leadership means you are the first to come to mind when someone is ready to buy. So, next, how to develop a strong personal brand. Be active on social media. Having a social media presence ensures that you are always visible and at the forefront of your network's feeds. Advocate for your company. Display a genuine interest in your company's content. Advocating for your organization is an essential part of building a strong personal brand as it lets your network know what you're about and brings attention to the business. Create original content. It's one thing to talk the talk, but taking this to the next level with written, video, or audio content is what truly separates the Gary Vaynerchuks from the average Joe. Engage with your network. Engaging with people on social media is another way to boost familiarity among your networks. Make sure when you're doing so that your interactions are genuine. So, you know why social media is important, but how do you guide your strategy? This is where defining your audience goals and purpose comes in. You may know in the back of your head what you are about, but creating a simple document that lays out your audience goals and purpose will make making decisions about your designs easier. As you go through the rest of this lecture, jot down ideas as they are related to your brand. Hint, because this will help you in completing your first project. All right, so first off, let's talk about audience. Defining your audience is a step that many people overlook, but is incredibly important. Although you may think, I'll sell to anyone that will buy, Figuring out who is in need of what you are selling can help you in your design journey. This applies to everyone, whether you are selling a physical product, a service, yourself as a candidate for a job, or as an expert slash influencer. All right, so now we're gonna read this article from HubSpot on what a social media target audience is and how to find it. Go ahead and pause this video and open this, up, this link up and read this on your own. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to read 
um, this article on what a social media target audience is and how to find it. Now imagine what kind of audiences these types of people slash products have. A real estate agent in Beverly Hills versus a real estate agent in Kerman. A woodworker who makes tables and coasters versus a woodworker who makes rocking chairs and cribs. An artist who paints peaceful landscapes versus an artist who creates shock value art. Although each example is of the same type of job, factors such as their product, audience's age, location, stage in life have a major impact on how each would market themselves on social media. Let's take this first example, a real estate agent in Beverly Hills versus a real estate agent in Kerman. Beverly Hills is very upscale, posh, um, and if you were a real estate agent there, that's the type of lifestyle you would be trying to convey to your audience that you are in the know on all of this. And so therefore you are the right person to purchase a property through. Now, if you were a real estate agent in Kerman, where it is primarily uh, farms, agricultural, having that posh look and attitude isn't gonna be as important. People that are buying in Kerman are going to want a real estate agent who know about agriculture and the needs that farmers have. So there is huge differences. It's the same job, but like I said, product, audience's age, location, stage in life, all of these things come into play. All right, so next you're going to pause this video and read this article on Social Media Demographics by SproutSocial.com. As you look at these stats, think about your audience and which social media sites they are using. Now that you've had a chance to read this article, we're going to talk about goals and purpose. So when we talk about goals and purpose or message, this can apply to a single post, a marketing campaign, or your brand overall. For the purposes of our first project, we will be thinking about the overall brand. What is the goal of your brand? What is your brand's purpose and values? Answering these two questions can be deceivingly difficult, but will propel you on a path to better communicate what you are about through design. One way to figure out your goals and purpose is to look at your brand's mission statement. A mission statement will often include what, who, where, and why. So, what are you selling? Who is selling it? Where are you? And why are you selling it? All right, so last but not least, read this article from HubSpot about 17 truly inspiring company vision and mission statement examples. Think of how you would write your own mission statement. There's some really great tips in this article and all of these articles with it that I have mentioned in this video will definitely help you along on your first project. Okay, so get going on it and let's figure out what you and your brand are all about.